that is one of the highlights. Again, a big one. Oh, what is that? Oh, big one, it's gonna smash me. Oh, it was a Saratoga. A Saratoga right up the back of this system on Joey's, on Joey's fizzer. Oh, oh, again, again, a big one. Oh, what is that? Maybe a Trev this time, yep. Oh, mate, second cast with Joey's fizzer. <laughs> I'll just set, let's settle into that, and that that is a cheat. <laughs> Gotta watch my hands on these hooks because they, they're big hooks, big heavy hooks. I don't want them going in. Oh mate, off you go, buddy. Man, I literally just lost a sixty-something toga, eh? Right up the back, and I'm sitting in mangroves. I would, I would never have thought that would happen. It was a definite toga. I saw his big, his big bottom lip. This is nuts up here because I am so far away from anywhere. Joey, mate, I've been a massive fan of your lures. If you don't know who I'm talking about, Joey makes jollop lures. And I saw him at the Australian Lure and Fight um, show a couple of years ago and I fell in love with some of his designs and they're only getting better. He has got some cracking bass and cod, but this thing I reckon for Barra and Jack, Make sure you take a look at his range. This is what I'm using the sav. Two casts, just lost me toga. That would have been a highlight. And next cast, Trev. This thing has just got it going on. I've been a big fan of fizzers for ages, but they've got to be the right ones. Like they've got to be super floaty. There's a boil up on that right now. Something's under it. I'm wanting it. Come on, just grab it. They've got to be really floaty, and, and Joey handcrafts these. He doesn't have heaps of them. Oh, there's a boil on that. Come on. Oh, I'm literally right at the end of this place. Like, it doesn't get any further upstream than this. And I'm going to bring you home with one of these. I'm going to start heading back, but this thing is just fire at the moment. Let's go. Oh yeah, again. Come on. Initially, these fizzers, when they were first being designed, they were coming out of the States and people were using them for largemouth bass, chasing, chasing bass and fishing the States, big pike and things. But I, I feel like they've been so underrated in Australia for Barrow and Jack, especially Mangrove Jack. I, I have, so many lure fishing videos on my channel now and a lot of them are chasing jacks with these top water fizzers. Oh, missed it, Jack, 100. Saw him grab it again. I, I can't show you it. He's gone for it three times, mate. Can you see that? Just grab it, Jackie. Three times he was after that. Unreal. This is where these things kill it too. If you've got fallen timber, and it's all laying down and you want to get on top of it, these fizzers just kill it. As long as you can get the fish out, but who cares? Work that out later. Oh, oh, came after it again. Still there, still there, got it. Oh, it's a jack too. Smashed it like a Trevally. The aggression, unbelievable. <laughs> that was one of the best things I've ever seen a display from a mangrove jack. Joey, your jollop lures are insane, mate. Holy, I've never seen a jack try and grab it like that. Oh, geez, we've got to be careful. I'm going to get a treble in the hand in a second. 
Well, that is one of the highlights of my trip so far. This fizzer getting ripped hard and having that jack just come beelining like a billfish. It was just chasing it, honing it down. Oh, it was like the stuff you see offshore. My good mate Jai gave me one lure to bring to the Northern, Ter uh, Northern Territory in Northern Queensland and he's like, Johnny, I just want you to try this, mate. Just throw this around and see what happens around these mangroves. Now, I've fished with these fizzers for a long time, but not this one in particular. I've got a few of my favourites, but this one has just rocketed right up into that bunch. Look at, look at how well the fizzers go. They just go nuts, and that's the key. And you want a lure that is a real floaty body. There's a lot of brilliant lure designers in Australia, world class. We've got a huge list of them. If you haven't seen them, you've got to go to the Australian Lure and Fly Expo. Check them out there. But Joey has made some beautiful timber lures and this has got to be one of my favorites at this point. I want to tell you how I like to fish this lure. So it's quite heavy, so it makes it really easy to cast and heavy in terms of the bulk of that body, there's enough body in that to throw it around and get distance cast if you want to. But it also has these heavy terminals. Look at the big hooks that come as standard and the big hanger. Okay, so the toe point, the hook hangers, they're really, really heavy. So when you're fishing in here for chasing barra, chasing jacks, there's absolutely no dramas. I think, you know, this has been built for jacks, barra, cod, real big fish. And so it's got no problems, you know, really feeding it to it when you get into this heavy stuff. And I'll show you what I'm doing. All I'm doing is just, I'm, I'm sending it deep into the, to the edges as hard as I can, right? And I'm, as, as it's firing in, I'm just pulling up just to soften the land as where, where I can. So I send in hard cast, pull it up with a little bit of thumb on the spool right at the end. And that just slows the land up. So just a little bit more of a subtle land and then the fizzer gets going. Oh, come on. And it's more stabby. It's not like long draws with the, with the rod. It's stabby little punches of the rod tip to get that lure to really go fizzing and chopping through the water. So it's like, tink, tink, boom. And I'm foaming the water up as I'm going. So the fizz, the fizzy bit is the, is the salt water like fizzing up as I'm, I'm ripping it. So this rod is a five foot six rod and look at the way that I work it. It's really, it's really aggressive. And that just gets a really deep fizz out of the lure. I'll try and show you so you can see it. Even that kind of an action, really stabby with my rod tip, I'm like bang, bang, and just sitting it there, that's what pulls the fish up. It's not like this little dawdly bring back like you might for a cod to try and entice a cod. The jacks and the barra, they love that. All right, so see if we can get some more action going. I'll send this in here, see what happens. 